the left is constantly trying to destroy institutions that they do not control. And uh, a, a favorite target of theirs is the United States Supreme Court. They are routinely shifting their eye of Sauron to, towards the next justice that they think they can destroy. Justice Clarence Thomas is typically the man they focus on. But this past week, Justice Sam Alito became the target of the moment. They say his wife has political views that he needs to get control of uh, or else. And he can't, he's, not, he's got to recuse himself from every election case, they claim. For more on this, I want to bring in the fabulous Margot Cleveland. She's a senior legal correspondent at The Federalist, and she's written on this subject this week. Margot, good to have you back with us. Oh, thanks so much, Vince. So this all emanates out of a New York Times piece last week where they claim that uh, the justice's wife back in uh, 2021 flew an American flag upside down after she was being absolutely trashed by her neighbors, just treated in the worst possible way that you could treat a woman. And uh, so she started flying an American flag upside down outside the House. Uh, Now the left is saying, well, that means he needs to recuse himself from all election related cases. What's going on here, Margo? Well, you forgot the spin that they did. That wasn't that she flew a flag upside down. It was she flew a symbol of uh, stop the steal. And if you read a little further, it was it was an American flag upside down. So the, the short answer of what's going on here is the left is crazy. They just they they can't deal with not being in control of everything. So they are trying to make a scandal out of nothing. And when I say nothing, I mean absolutely nothing. And as you noted, I wrote a piece up on this today that's at the Federalist, and and I break it down and go through it very methodically. And let me just start with a little bit of a backdrop. I was a career law clerk for a federal appellate judge for almost 25 years, and during that time, he served on the Judicial Codes of Conduct Committee. That committee has as its charge to provide advisory opinions for judges. So if a judge has a question of, oh, can my wife post a political sign in the yard, the the judge will ask the committee what the answer is under these ethical rules. And I assisted with my my judge for over six years doing that. So I'm extremely well-versed in what the ethics code says and what it doesn't say. So with that backdrop, the first problem with this whole story is there was no stop the steal signal. There was no symbol. There was no sign. There was an American flag upside down. And the entire idea that Justice Alito has to recuse is premised on there being a stop the steal sign, which there wasn't. It wasn't a symbol of it. And, you know, they, the liberals like to rewrite history. So, so I went and looked at what they did back then. Go ahead, Vince. No, I just I have one question, though, because I almost sure. feel like we could stretch this even further. So what if it was a stop the steal symbol? Right, so, right. So, so that's what I did. That was my second point of let's assume that it was a stop the steal sign. But the, the point on the first one, though, it's really – kind of significant that they're having to make up something to make up something. Yeah. So they can't even attack him on reality. They have to create this false narrative that it was a symbol of stop the steal, which it wasn't. And if you go back, CNN at the time had done an article, something like the secret symbols of the stop the steal movement. And there was no mention of an upside down flag. But like you said, even if it was, so what? And that's exactly the answer. The Codes of Conduct Committee tells a judge what he can do and what he can't do. And one of the things a judge can't do is control his spouse. That is not what the Codes of Conduct Committee require. And it's actually right in there in the Codes of Conduct. It says a judge shall not engage in political activity. And then it makes clear in commentaries and advisory opinions and the compendium, which is kind of what the in what in house the judges have to look at, that this does not apply to your spouse. What you as a judge should do is to ask them not to do it and disassociate from it. And that's exactly what we saw with this scenario. When news broke, what did Justice Alito say? I had nothing to do with the flag. 
And it was pretty funny because what did you get the left wingers doing? Oh, he's blaming it on his wife. It's like, no, he's doing exactly what the codes of conduct require. Yeah. It is he is disassociating himself from what statement his wife made. Well, additionally, so, the left is demanding misogyny on his part, that he has to get control of his <laughs> wife. He has to shut down her speech. He's, she's not allowed to express herself in the way she chooses. So that the left's right. position here is that he needs to run every word that comes out of her mouth. Right, right. It, it, it's absolutely ridiculous, uh, hypocritical, and and everything in between. Yeah. But but so so there's actually three flaws with this, you know, this ridiculous attack on Justice Alito. The first one is there was no stop the steal symbol. Second is even if there was, he didn't do anything wrong. It was his wife. But the third part is whether he recuses is determined by an unbiased, reasonable person who knows all of the circumstances. So right there, unbiased and reasonable, you can throw out, throw out all the leftists. You know, they're neither of those. But we now know what the circumstances were. This had to do with a neighbor who had a profane sign in his yard. Mrs. Alito made a comment to him saying, you know, look, you're by some school. Why, you know, you shouldn't be putting that out there for the kids. There's a, an exchange between her and the neighbor in which he uses the C word. Yeah. And then Mrs. Alito hangs a flag upside down. That's it. So There is no bias no appearance of bias if you are a reasonable person. No. Now, now the, another piece here is, regardless of what position you hang the American flag, the left has kind of a long time ago, they just decided that it's not their thing. They think the American flag is a Republican symbol anyway. So if she was flying it correctly, <laughs> uh, they would say it's a Republican symbol. In fact, YouGov did a survey on this back in 2022. Among Republicans, 83% of them have a very positive view of the American flag. Among Democrats, just 49 percent have a very positive view. A minority of Democrats have a positive view. And there have been articles through the years in places like The New Yorker, or The Harvard Political Review, declaring that the American flag is just a symbol for Republicans now. It's not a symbol for the country. <laughs> so this all idea that, oh, she was flying it upside down. What do you care? You think the American flag itself is a Republican symbol. This, that's how ridiculous this has become. Absolutely. And, you know, that just means that the next scandal is going to be that they're flying the flag the right side up because it's a symbol of MAGA. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> right. The, the bad guy. But it, it's just it's ridiculous. And I don't know if you saw the latest supposed pile on that apparently uh, Justice Alito divested from an investment in, in um, uh, the owner of Bud Light. I'm yeah, blanking on AB InBev is called now, but right. a, a derivative of Anheuser Busch. And this was going on, I guess, during the, the boycott because they were marketing it with what's his name. And, and I'm thinking, okay, wait, I, I'm totally lost in what your theory of a scandal is that right wingers had a boycott and made Justice Alito lose money. I mean, I, it's just so nonsensical. I I can't understand so, it. So that in that particular case, I saw there's a, a writer called Jay Caruso tweeted a summary of it today uh, and pointed out that the stock he sold, he bought the stock in March of 2022. He sold it in August of 2023 at a loss. He lost money on the stock. So that, that's not... It's not like some sort of insider trading scandal where right. he's making money. He's losing money. And then he purchased Molson Coors right after that. Now, one would assume that that's a tax avoidance strategy, if he had to guess, because he probably, you know, he's trying to, you know, write off some of his losses and then buy kind of a similar stock and, and hope that he can make money again in the future. But none of this is a scandal. This is literally within the right. confines of the law. Right. And he's disclosing it, which he's supposed to do. But that's what I'm saying. What are, they, they pick a justice's name and then they, they're trying to come up with something that's a scandal. But with the codes of conduct, the, it really is so ridiculous because the media knows the public doesn't know the ins and outs. So they can try to create a scandal out of nothing. And what the New York Times did was absolutely appalling. They quoted supposed ethics experts, and one of which said this is, this, there, this is no different than 
you know, flying a or posting a stop the steal flag and then said, it, you know, he, this should not be done. It doesn't matter if it's him or his wife. I reached out for a comment because that's absolutely wrong. It's 100 percent wrong under the judicial codes of conduct. And yet the New York Times is posting this nonsense and trying to create this this fury that's going to get I don't know what they think. Justice Alito is not going to recuse. All this is doing is creating dissension and causing people to have less right. respect for the Supreme Court. And, and, and these rules don't apply to the left in any way. So if you have right. a, a left wing Supreme Court justice whose spouse has a my body, my choice sign posted in their front yard advocating for abortion, that left wing justice is not recusing from the Dobbs case. That's not happening. That's like that's crazy. And nobody and by and large, nobody would actually expect that. To happen, right. the left is creating uh, like new scandals uh, in order to scandalize things that are innocuous. Absolutely, and you saw Justice Ginsburg at times cross the ethical line where she's had to apologize for things that she has said, and yet there's no none of these kind of calls that are out there. But in this case, there was nothing that was needed to be apologized for, at least not by the Alitos, the neighbor, yeah, but not the Alitos. Yeah, I just I'd love to know the backstory beyond. I mean, <laughs> like the the, Ali, the Alitos are out walking and then the neighbor straight up calls Justice Alito's wife the C word to her face, apparently. And he's standing. I, I there's got to be more to that story because I, I can't imagine any stomach, any husband just stomaching that happening in front of him. Well, you know, I'm sure that Justice Alito knows that he's under the spotlight I'm and sure he knows does. what kind of man this is. So he probably uh, slashed his tires in the middle of the night. I understand. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> right there. So I, I just if you think of what what the D.C. group is, though, there's probably very few of the conservatives in the area. So they're stuck in that type of neighborhood. Yeah. Sounds like protests go on there all the time, just as what you saw was going on with uh, Brett Kavanaugh in his house and with the. Uh, Justice Amy Comey Barrett, it just it's ridiculous that well, th this happens and that this is considered appropriate. One last thing, because you just made me think sure. of it. Uh, uh, last week, Joe Scarborough uh, raised this theory. He has a conspiracy theory. He thinks Sam Alito leaked the Dobbs decision, the draft of the Dobbs decision early. <laughs> he said yeah, Alito did it. He was trying to lock in uh, people like Kavanaugh and Amy Comey Barrett. Uh, so so the theory, as I understand it from Joe Scarborough, is that uh, Alito leaked this which led to an assassination attempt on Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, does that hold water with you, Margo Cleveland? Not only does it not hold water, that was floated a long time ago. And you know it's false because if it was, they would have definitely found who leaked it. Yes. There's no way they would, oh, we can't tell who leaked it if it was a conservative. That's so right. that's just much more of the let's try to throw Alito uh -huh. under the bus and uh, we'll do anything we can in yep. the way, shape or form. And at the bottom line, Justice Thomas is right. D.C. is a horrible place. That's true. That's true. And that investigation went the same place the White House cocaine investigation went to, which is nowhere. We didn't get anything. Uh, thank you very much, Margot Cleveland, as always, for your excellent work and for joining us. Today.